hello guys welcome back to my channel i greet you according to your time and according to the time you are seeing this video how are you doing i hope you are good my people know <laughs> battle this is correct battle between good uh, between two spirits <laughs> but one thing i notice in this life is that even if god delays but no one can battle with the lord and win as long as you are uh, god is with you you are a child of God. Omo, they can never win you. So this is battle between good um, two spirits. As we heard allegedly that uh, before the king, Oni of Ife become Oni, that he had been uh, been as in he had he was betrothed to Olori Ashley, as we all heard. So, and that is why you will see Ashley sometimes say that she and the king are betrothed together. One thing about these two is that they, uh, Ashley and Oni of Ife, as we heard though, that they have been connected spiritually. And that is why we heard the other day that somebody in the palace is spiritual wife to the king. And they again, coming to Queen Nomi's side, they have also been connected spiritually too. That is why we heard that these two are reincarnated lovers, 14th century reincarnated, <laughs> reincarnated lovers. But what is happening right now? Allegedly, allegedly, as we heard that um, Pastor, uh, Pastor Jerry Eze reviewed in, her, in his prophets and uh, in his prophecy that there is two people fighting over the king. These two people are, as in, they are connected to the king spiritually. And the battle which they are fighting, one is a traditionalist and the, the other is uh, a Christian. And as far as these two continue to fight, that other allories in the palace may think that they know what they are doing. But one day, they, these two will fight and fight and the others will be frustrated and they leave the palace the same way they entered. And when all of these things will be happening, some people that think that some other allories in the palace are going to win the battle will be disgraced. She will be disappointed because there are people that they are looking up to that they think is going to win this battle, but they are going to lose completely. Allegedly, my correct people, I did not mention anybody's name. But I know that in that palace, I heard that uh, Auntie Ebony, that she was betrothed to the king. And she is a, pro, a, priestess, a priestess. And when Naomi, Mama Tadenikawo, uh, she is also one of the first reincarnated lovers, lover. That is 14th century reincarnated lovers. And these two, that they are into serious battle. That uh, Queen Nomi may not know exactly what she's battling in that palace. But she has to understand the fact that she is only fighting with a particular woman. Which we may see as spiritual wife of the king. Hey, hey, my correct people. Allegedly, no be me talk amo na here I hear and as I hear I'll bring to you. Before we proceed, please, if you are here to subscribe to my channel, please subscribe. I love you so much for being part of the channel. My God will bless you. So, my correct, correct people, lo na the na the matter we still do. As all of this is happening in the palace right now. I don't forget the time they said Queen uh, Reverend Esther came to the uh, called on Queen Naomi and told her that. This is the last battle that you are fighting. When you finish this battle and win, you will see that God is with you. God is just allowing all of these things to happen so that you will know that to get good things is, uh, are not easy. It's not easy to get good things. Good things are not easy to get. You find out that some people that get things anyhow, they, they, they end it. They end anyhow. You see? They end up anyhow. Uh, anyhow, things doesn't last. But when these things come 
genuinely, you see that these things will last. So you have to bear in mind that you are fighting to, uh, according to Pastor Jerry Eze, you are fighting with a particular person. And this is spiritual battle. It's not physical. It's not as if you are seeing it that these Olorids are doing this and they are doing that. It is spiritual battle. And if you fight and win, that is when you know that you are a true child of God. And one thing about this thing is that God is not going to let you fight this battle alone. But you have to stick and be steady. You have to be there. You have to fight. You have, don't have to give up. Because you know that when you give up the thing that they have win. That this particular person you are fighting, this particular spirit you are fighting, is not a small thing. And this, this brings me to some some times people fight spiritual wife and spiritual husbands. This is not ordinary thing. It is a thing that needs both deliverance, steady praying, like fasting and praying, asking God to do something, help you. It's not a thing that you just come and fight it doesn't end just like that, but with God, all things are possible. So, my colleague people, that is what we heard, that these two spirits. I have heard one day someone saying it in the, uh, in the video I watched that, I knew the king before you. I was betrayed to the, to the king. Not because of she went and married a one man like that, and that it doesn't work. She came back to the same man that she was betrayed to. And that is why she was in the palace. You think that she's your friend. They know that she's your enemy. And the time she betrayed you, you were surprised. You don't even know that such a thing can actually happen. So you have to be ready. Maybe today the fight, but uh, the battle started. The battle started the first day you entered that palace, but you thought that this this is uh, um, just a... a Somebody you see as friend. You don't know that you have been befriending your enemy for so long. That this is the main battle you have to face. And you, it is ongoing. As they do their own the other side, you will do the, your own the other side. Which side is going to win? There is no how darkness will ever, will ever overshadow light. It's never done. Even if it is a thickest darkness. Only a, 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 a matches of light. Like what you want, you want, you just on matches or candle, the whole darkness will just disappear. That is how they are going to disappear when the time comes. That the other oloris are nothing but minor case. Their own is a come case. That the battle you have to fight is this particular one. And you are going to win. That is if you stand show, steady. <laughs> that is this our this thing used to say that show sure and steady. Boys Brigade slogan show sure and steady. Okay, I don't know. <laughs> Please don't mind me for deviating anyway. So, my colleague people, that is what we heard. Allegedly, that is what we heard um, Pastor Jerry Eze said, allegedly, that Konami should not give up. And she should know that quitters never win, and the winners never quit. And at the end of all of this, she is going to win. Thank you, and don't forget that they are all alleged, though. I was not there at the Palace of Ilefe Kingdom. Love you guys. Bye.